Okay. How many of you have heard about the name Redis? Oh, good. At least a few. So for those of you who are not familiar, Redis is a database. It's an in-memory database. I will show you how fast it is. Redis Lab is the company behind the open source, and we also provide commercial product around Redis, which is called, unsurprisingly, Redis Enterprise. The market of the database, of the operational database, is huge. It's the number one software segment ever, yeah? It's going to be 50 billion 2020 or 2021, and it is still controlled by the large traditional SQL companies, but the NoSQL companies will be something like 15% in the next year. Now, if we want to look what runs behind the scene, there is a well-known website called DB Engine, at least the ranking of, of the websites, which is popular. So unsurprisingly, Redis is among the top 10. But when we looked at this list, it looks like a bit uh, strange to us, because we know Redis is very extremely popular among developers. So how come things like Microsoft Access is before Redis in that list? So what we did, we took um, a proactive approach and went to uh, Docker Hub to see how many people downloaded or actually launched Redis. And this is the numbers that we saw. Over 600 million, 600 million launches of Redis. This is more than Cassandra, MySQL, and MongoDB together. It's about 1.3 thousand a minute. When I finish this presentation, it will be additional more 15K downloads. So it's huge. And if you ask yourself, what's the reason of that? There are practically three, three reasons for that. First of all, performance. Second is simplicity, and then extensibility. If we talk about performance, uh, there is a well-known term. If you develop an application, it needs to be 100 milliseconds from the time you click the button until the time you reach, the, you get the page. Now, if you divide it between the network and the data center, the network is about 50% of the round trip. Inside the data center, there are multiple interactions between, between your application server and your database server. So if your database servers cannot respond in less than one millisecond, there is no chance that you will do end-to-end 100 milliseconds. And the only database today that is able to perform constantly beyond, uh, below one millisecond latency is Redis. Uh, this is just an example of how fast Redis is versus other databases. So if you compare it when Redis runs completely in RAM, it's 150 times faster than any other database. If it runs on SSD or flash, it's 50%, 50 times faster than any other database. If you search with Redis, it runs five times faster than Solar or Elastic. If you do active-active configuration, it is 100 times faster than Cassandra or other databases that, de that uh, deploy in this configuration. And if you try to serve machine learning, it is 2,000 times faster than Spark. The second thing is simplicity. You know, when you develop an application, usually what your developers are doing, they translate the data structure of the logic of the application to the database. This translation takes a lot of time, and the developers don't like it. What Redis does, it provides the same API of the developer at the application layer at the database layer. So they don't practically need to change anything. And it makes your application faster, and it simplifies the, the deployment of application. The third important thing is extensibility. You know, when NoSQL started, there was a, what is called polygold persistency. People used to, to design an application for graph. People used to design an application for key value data store. People used to design an application for document data store. But this creates a complete mess. How can you manage so many databases? How can you manage so, so many varieties of your application code? So today, the trend is to switch to what is called multi-model, to have one database that has all the capabilities inside. And this is exactly what we did with Redis. Redis has an open source core, and on the top of it, around it, there are multiple modules that allow you to extend the capability of Redis, such as machine learning, JSON, graph, and even custom module. You can develop your own capabilities on the top of Redis. A few words about us. So we decided not to adapt the, the, what traditional open source database, uh, companies uh, did is in which we decided not to support the open source commercially. We support it for the community, but we do not make any profit out of it. 
Instead, we developed a complete new technology on the top of Redis and provide it as a service, as well as a downloadable software. And this is a very, very popular service. We have something like 8,100 customers and something like 500,000 databases under management. All the top telecom companies, all the top card issuers companies are using our service or software that they download. So I discussed about the, the announcements that we provide over the open source, just to list a few. So we provide a way to, to run Redis globally distributed that simultaneously read and write from different data centers. We provide a way to extend the in-memory with SSD or with flash technology, and many, many other benefits. Not surprisingly, in a recent survey that we did, we found out that over 66% of our customers are using now Redis as a primary database. And over 50% of them migrate their workload from traditional SQL-based databases, like Oracle or Microsoft SQL. And just to share with you, this is the list of customers that we have. As you can see, uh, all the big logos of the words are running our, on our service or using our service or our software on-prem. Just to uh, a few um, business numbers, so, so we, we grew over uh, approximately 4,000% between 2013 to 2016, the top enterprise software company in the Silicon Valley. Our gross margin is around 78%, 85 for the software and 55 for the database as a service. Our average deal size is approximately 45K, but if you look at the Fortune 500, it is 300,000K. Um, over uh, 8,100 paying customers for the service, over 300 customers for the software. Um, as I mentioned, over half a million databases, we manage over half a million databases on our service and software, and the open source has around 600, 600 million databases created. We raised around $86 million uh, funds from uh, Goldman Sachs, um, Bank Capital, Carmel, and Dell Venture. One last note. This is a challenging period for open source companies. And the main reason for this is that there is the cloud monsters that all they do, they take the open source that we created and provide it as a service. Unsurprisingly, when you come to AWS, you see that they created something like 300 features. They didn't create all these features themselves. They took an open source that someone else developed and provided it as a service. Now, 20 years ago, when the open source was created, this was not the intention. And I believe that today you also have a say here. As someone who invested in companies, or as someone who is managing companies, you need to make sure that your IT department or your developers are consuming the data services from the companies who created the databases. And you will find out that it is not only better in terms of technology, it is also cheaper, and it provides you a future proof because the ones that will develop new capabilities over this open source are this company, not the cloud provider. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very impressive.